Welcome back to AI War 2, Sage Against the Machines, preparing for the Turtle CPA. First one they've sent at us for the three hour mark here. We want to go after the second out guard, but I've decided to change my order in doing that. I'm going to try to hit some more CPA bunkers first, specifically from the Turtle AI. So we've got a couple here in limited exchange and frankly unsavory that I think are close enough to go after. And in here, my main issue is the ion cannon. I don't want to bother hacking it. We're just going to go after it. They've got some warden here. We'll worry about them after we deal with this. And the warden are running, so we won't worry about them, I guess. Unload and hit it, please. Of course, we have all of the Hydras now as part of this fleet, boosting what we can do a bit, and we are now having a bit of parasitic capability, as the Parasite Hydra is the first ones that we have with our mobile fleet. First parasitic ships of any kind. Okay, we'll get that fleet out, and just start cleaning up some of what's in our way. Knock you out. That turret's down. Now worth noting, the most recent patch did give a moderate adjustment to the tackle drones. Their damage is not as high as it was. Their health is not as high as it was. Specifically, they don't have shields. So, they were unintentionally somewhat more powerful than intended, but they're still quite good. And a couple new CPA bunkers, including one on Funky Horror where we've already been. So that path is clear. If we can knock that one out, that would be great as well. So we've got this CPA bunker down. I think that should put us at six total between the two AIs now, if my math is right. Okay, that's done. Let's load up. and get over to Frankly Unsavory. Move our support station. fleets in. One more hop. And we don't have vision here, so... Let's pop in our raiders. See what's going on. So CPA bunker, of course. They have an eye. And it looks like they also have force fields on top of the wormholes. I'm not really a big fan of that. MLRS Guardian isn't too bad, but I don't think we have the time to really spend on this. So probably not the best thing for me to do. Let's just load everybody up and get out of here. All right, I'm going to send support. Tackle Drone Fleet, and Battle Station back here. But you are going to come in here and hang out in Gamble Gate, because I do want to knock out that Warp Gate, and I think now is probably as good a time as any. And as always, it's a question, hacking or AI progress, but I am going to take the AIP hit for this. I think it's going to be worth doing, so unload all of you and go hit it. We've got a couple Hunter Fleet ships here, but not much. There we go. Okay, so we're still well under that next mark level, and I think we're, okay, less than eight minutes away. We're going to leave you alone. And my next target is then I want to get out to Funky Horror. Way over here. And I could bring some help with, but I don't think we should need it. So let's just get there as quickly as we can. Then maybe we move everybody. I mean, this is probably 
a little more centrally located, also where we're going to want to do the hack. Do not appear to be having any problems in here. Okay, we've got some fun there. It's Warden. No big deal. Alright, what do we have here? They're fighting with our zombies. What do you say we wait a minute and uh, help with that? What are you? You're just escaping guards. Let's not have any more of you than necessary escape. Okay. Load up. And let's hop in here and see where that bunker is this time. Okay, it's right over here. Not too bad. Might be good to get rid of some of these guardians, given that they are being annoying. All right. Let's see. Get rid of you. That should do. Hold up. Okay. Get a few more of you in here. And we are going to return all the way around to here. Now settings updated. We have less than five minutes. Sitting on about 150. But a couple more of those turtle CPA bunkers down. I feel very good about that. I think we should be in a good position to minimize how much the turtle can send at us. So I think I want to go here with the Xenophon rather than needing to micromanage the war harvesters. Hackers are in. Couple of pretty insignificant waves coming in. And this should take us up right till about when that CPA hits. Which would be good timing, because then after we clean this up, well, we're going to want to be journeying about and seeing what we can do to deal with the extra threat. This does not appear to be too severe of a response yet. Okay, so the next bit of AI progress we hit will put us over the limit. And notice here, two CPA bunkers, and those contributed to almost half of the CPA, but it's not hugely strong, up to 330 or so. I'd like to get that down to 200, 250, shave some of it off before we really start going aggressively out anywhere else. Vici is where the most is. That's the other side, and we don't have a lot of defenses by Planet Q. So it makes sense they would try to hit that direction. See if we can get out there. I'm going to keep our support and our battle station around in this area, though. 
let's just get everybody loaded up. Yep. It looks like they're starting to hit there. And I don't know if we can get there in time. But let's find out. Planet under attack. They just won't stop. Yep, they're coming in. We're going to be in trouble there. So, at the very least, we can try to slow them down. Xenophon, automated fire support. And losing this planet, we would hit an XO and we'd have to recover from it. There's nothing crucial we're defending there. So, this is totally okay. Pretty much no matter what. We just need to be able to get in there. Okay. I think that does mean, though, that I want to bring in my support fleet. The course has already been plotted. And be a little more cautious. We'll just come into Planet of the Japes. And push our way into that scenario gradually. Under attack in enemy territory. Alright. Now... Unload here. I want to take control of this planet and then move in. Sooner the better, but okay. And where's our support fleets? They are going to lag behind quite a bit, as we might expect. Okay. Let's move everybody over here. Time for a regularly scheduled structural integrity test. I don't want to jump the gun here. There's enough in there, and we're not going to be able to rebuild ships immediately until we get it recovered. So. We've got enough in place, though, I think. Time to go. And, of course, Warden in here as well. Oh, look at that. A big reconquest wave coming in about two minutes. But our outguard will be ready to help at that point. So I think we'll probably... Stay here, spawn in that outguard, and then try to come back and recover them. So some fun definitely being had. On the other hand, they've already dropped down by a significant amount on their threat. Just need to chop down the rest of this, start rebuilding everything. Okay. And we just need you to come back up. Get some engineers. Make sure we've got some... Yep, because here comes more. This is... Oh, it's a use super. You are not going to be allowed to have success here. Looks like this is doing fine. And I feel pretty good. Let's let everybody up and move. And you're going to come back here. Already starting. Go and bring the support fleets here back there as well. Critical planet under attack. Here they come. More out guard. Just want you to hold the line until we can get back. Because that's a planet we don't want to lose. And obviously the fewer we lose the better. 
in any event. They do outnumber us still, and that's temporary. About to get our first bit of health. There we go. And then once you come in, I do not foresee any more problems. Go ahead and drop you right down here on the command station. Got some lovely pike guardians for you to give the treatment to. So, all of our tools really showing their value at this point. Just get rid of as much as we can before they escape. Looking like this is going to work out very well. Even with the extra attackers, you know, exo wave from losing that one station on planet Q, we're going to get down to about the 200 strength level, if not lower, and that puts us in a good position. Now, since we're about to jump up to the next mark level, I want another set of turrets and I've been reserving my science because I also want to up my turret hull level there. And so to do that, I next want to maneuver down here. We are just within range. If we can plow through these planets, which perhaps a little bit easier said than done, but we ought to be able to get through it eventually, we can jump into Kessler Pit. There's actually a CPA bunker there, a nice little ancillary benefit to us. And we can then grab, I mean, we got another Argon station here. And get this turret schematic server. Looking forward to possibly getting those vampire turrets. It's almost as if there's a magnet on planet Q. The AI just seems attracted to it. But I think it's more just their warden and hunter especially trying to path through the galaxy. You can see there's some in Homey Once New, some in Kickflip. But there's only one way. Texarkana blocks off, and so does I-1 what, actually, access to the rest of the galaxy where the AI home worlds are. And so we really have the potential possibility. I don't think I'm actually going to want to take either one of these plants, although I could possibly consider Texarkana. But actually putting my battle station in there eventually, once we clear all this out, and plopping a bunch of turrets there to just you know, break up all of their forces as they come through both directions. I think that could really be a good idea. But for now, we just want to clear out more of them as they become available. So we're gonna pop in here to Planet of the Japes. Taking and unload fire you, and unload you, and just see what you can do for us. Of course, there's Warden in here, there's zombies allied to the AI, but there's also Lots of other fun items, Hunter, that we can eliminate. And meanwhile, our slower fleet's gradually working their way to this side of the galaxy. Now, I think that we have reached the point that essentially the tipping point or the point of we have strategic victory in hand. It should be a matter of technique to win this from here on out. Not necessarily easy. But, you know, plowing through, closing in on the AI homeworlds, gradually increasing our power and increasing the security of our systems. And there isn't any huge overbearing threat coming our way. You've built up to a decent amount of strength to expand through the galaxy here as the mid-game continues. And we also don't have a huge amount of CPA bunkers. That threat has also been minimized as well. We can handle the CPAs as they're coming now. 
I think that we are in very good shape. And that's pretty much here, okay. Threat down well under 200. And when we return next time, there are some troublesome issues as we try to push through this. And we will get acquainted with those. I, again, I don't want to take any more planets up AI progress any further until I'm able to get the turrets in here in the Kessler pit. Be getting back to all of that soon. Thanks for watching.